Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Fry Free Reading Room Tales for Tots program. My name is Granny Jean, and I hope we'll all have a good time today. Oh, it's a hot day here, <clears throat> but I hope that maybe you're going to the beach, huh? or maybe you went yesterday. Well, let's see. Let's see what we have in store for us today, okay? So nannies and, and mommies, daddies, if you can all stay with us and, and support the program and make it so much more beneficial for the whole family. <clears throat> so here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, what do I see here going to the beach? It's a big red bus. And it's called a double decker because it has a row of people sitting down there and a row of people sitting up there, upstairs and downstairs. Isn't that a great bus? <clears throat> and we all know this song. So let's all help. Okay, can we get our wheels going? The wheels of the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of the bus go round and round all through the town. And the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. <clears throat> and the lights on the bus go blink, 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 blink. The lights on the bus go blink, 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 all through the town. <clears throat> and what if it's raining? They need wipers, right? Oh, the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. What about the doors? The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. And the people on the bus go up and down, up and down. Up and down, the people on the bus go up and down, all through the town. And the baby on the bus goes, wah, 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 wah. the baby on the bus goes, wah, 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 all through the town. And mama on the bus goes, shh, 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 mama on the bus goes, shh, shh, all through the town. Right. <clears throat> well, I see you all have your fingers out, right? You get all your fingers out that were blinking, huh? Well, how about this song? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Where's your lap? Top your legs here when you sit down, right? <clears throat> creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Where's your chin? <clears throat> Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. No, hide those fingers from your mouth. No, we don't want to put our fingers in our mouth. Do you know why? That's right. They're full of germs to make us sick, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> so, excuse me. So, here we go again. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. No, goodness gracious me. Well, Wizzy Wizard has a tip for our mommies and our caregivers and our daddies. <clears throat> Writing can be very motivating for your children. It helps them connect, make the connection between uh, the language and, and the written word. So by uh, the spoken word rather and the, and the written word. So encourage your children to write. Uh, of course, they'd be scribbling, I know, but that's okay. Begin by making a shopping list together. The next time you go shopping, right? Absolutely. <clears throat> very good. Good advice. Well, my first book today is Seashell Day. 
Seashell day. Oh, I see some she seashells. Do you? Do you see some seashells there? I see a lot of them. It's a seashell day. Looks like some little boy staying at the beach. And this book is by Di Di Diane O'Chiltree. Oh, I see some footprints in the sand and I see some waves. Do you see those waves? No, yeah, that's the water coming in and washing things in and out. It's a seashell day. Oh, look at that. Someone has their pail and shovel all ready to dig up. Some shells are still, have still living creatures in them. So we leave them, we don't take them. This one too, this one too. Look, it's traveling along there. But this one looks like it's <laughs> not in use right now. Well, let's go. Ah, uh, when the sun peeks up over the bay, mommy tells me it's a seashell day. Look at that. There we are in our little cottage by the sea. I see a big bird there. I wonder what kind of bird that is. <clears throat> I rush down the path over the dune. Ah, salty breeze blows, blows, and we'll be there soon. And there we are, our little dog, too. We reach the beach. Herring gulls flock. Oh, they're herring gulls. Now they have the black tips on their wings. Is this a seashell? No, it's a rock. <laughs> a seashell used to have a little animal living in it, right? With pail and shovel in my hand, my toes squish in cool, wet sand. Oh, yeah, I dig up oh, at that little guy. There's someone living there. We don't take him, right? No. <clears throat> A wave rolls in. It's way too big. Go away, wave. I can't dig. Crash. Swish. Spiny, shiny shells. Ah, look, a penny for luck. I found a penny in the sand too. And but look at all my pretty shells I found. This shell is a home, mommy tells me. Let's put it back to live in the sea. You know, there's a little snail, a little sea snail. This shell has a secret. Hold it up to your ear. Listen, says mommy. What do you hear? I hear the ocean. If they're big enough, you can hear the ocean. <clears throat> I count shells. One, two, three, four. You see four? One, two, three, four. Huh, I count other shells. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, they see my shells are curvy. Huh, never straight. Look, there's a scallop shell down there. I have one right here. The real one. It has two shells, one on the top and one on the bottom. When the animal used to live in there, but when it it's, it's no longer there, and then then it, they come apart. Yeah. Two more shells, number nine and ten. When we get home, let's count them again. Oh look, the sun is going down. <clears throat> it took them all day to collect all those beautiful shells, didn't it? We're almost home. It's been a fun day. So many shells. I'll make a display. A display. What is a display? Well, this is a display. Here he is. He's labeled all his shells. Look at that. One, two, three, four. 
a pretend seashell store. <clears throat> Five, six, seven, eight. All my shells look really great. Nine and ten, both from the sea. I brought the beach home with me. Yeah. And so did I, as you can see. And so did I. <clears throat> Well, let's see what else is at the beach. I think there's some fish. And I think I'm going to go fishing. Are you going to help me catch some fish? Okay, let's count them as they go in the net. Here's the net. And here they are. And I'm going to drag that net along the bottom of the ocean and see what I can get. Okay, let's see. One little, two little, three little fishes. Four little, five little, six little fishes. Seven little, eight little, nine little fishes. Ten little fishes. <gasps> ah! And I caught in my net. Uh oh, uh oh, hole in my net. What happened? <gasps> Ten little, nine little, eight little fishes. Oh dear, I can't do this anymore. Seven little, six, seven little, six little, five little fishes, four little, three little, two little fishes, one little fish she left in my net. That is not too many. Let's, let's try that again. I'll mend my net, I'll sew it up. Probably didn't do a very good job. It was too much of a hurry, right? <clears throat> One little, two little, three little fishes, four little, five little, six little fishes, seven little, eight little, nine little fishes, 10 little fishes caught in my net. Ah, here they go, swimming away. Oh my goodness. 10 little, nine little, eight little fishes, seven little, six little, five little fishes, four little, three little, two little fishes, one little fishy left in my net. I'll let it go. I think we'll let it go. Don't you? Sure. <clears throat> well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put the big one down here. And guess what? For this next poem, and this next poem <clears throat> needs a wave. So look what I did, I got a big, long blue sock and I taped some cotton balls to it. That looked like a wave. I don't know about that, but we'll see. That's the best I could do. Ah, five, one, two, three, four, five. Five little seashells lying on the shore. Swish, went the waves. Now there are four. One, two, three, four, right? Four little seashells, pretty as can be. Swish went the waves. Now there are three. Three little seashells, all pearly new. Swish went the waves. And now there are two, two little <coughs> seashells lying in the sun. Swish went the waves. Now there is one, one little seashell <laughs> lying all alone. Of course I picked it up and I took it home. Well, there was no animal in it. Yep, it was, the animal had long gone. So it was fine for me to take. Yes, some things are not fine for us to take. No, some things we have to leave when we go to a nature center. <clears throat> but we can pick up the shells that no one else is using. That's okay. So let's do that one again, okay? <clears throat> Five little seashells lying on the shore. Swish went the waves, and now there is our four, right? Four little seashells, pretty as can be. Swish went the waves. Now there are three. Three little seashells. <clears throat> All pearly new. Swish went the waves. Now there are two. Two little seashells li lying in the sun. Swish went the waves. Now there is one. One little seashell lying all alone. Of course I picked it up and I took that one home. <laughs> yes, I did. <clears throat> Actually, I think I got that one in the store. <clears throat> That's the inside of the clam where the outside had been 
all <clears throat> sanded away. And that was left inside. Beautiful, beautiful shell. <clears throat> well, I have a story about fish eyes. Since we're counting today, it all have, seems that everything I have here is counting. But this is Fish Eyes, a book you can count on by Lois Alert. She has wonderful pictures that uh, <clears throat> really stimulate the young, young toddlers and, and youngsters and, and um, most preschoolers. <clears throat> a book you can count on. Fish Eyes, where are your eyes? Right, right in front. Fish have eyes on the sides, right? If I could put on a suit of scales, fish have scales all over them instead of the skin. And some fins and one of these tails, I'd close my eyes and then I'd wish. That I'd turn into a beautiful fish. I'd flip down rivers and splash in the sea. <clears throat> I'd swim so far you would never catch me. I would see. Now watch these eyes. Uh, one green fish. Two jumping fish. Watch the eyes. They change. Ah. Three smiling fish. Are they smiling? Can you smile? Four, four striped fish. And all those stripes. See the stripes. Ah, five spotted fish. You see all those spots on them? They have spots. Look at the eyes, they're changing. Uh, six, uh, six fan-tailed fish. Their tails look like little fans. Hmm. Seven flipping fish. Ah, uh, eight skinny fish. They are thin, aren't they? They are thin. Watch the eyes. <clears throat> ah, nine, <clears throat> nine flashy fish. Yeah, some of them are very bright. Ah, ten darting fish. And those are fish too. See the seahorses? Yeah. Seahorses are fish too. <clears throat> Then I'd keep swimming until I would see all those fish eyes looking at me. Did you see those fish eyes changing colors? That was kind of fun. When you take the book out of the library, maybe mommy can read it again and you can see that if you missed it. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, let's go for a pony ride. Some people ride along the beach on their ponies. Yeah. Here's a pony. Pony's a small horse, but we'll, we'll pretend he's a horse now, okay? Ride a cut horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a brown horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. Oh, here we go. Pretend you're on a rocking horse. Ride a cock horse to Banbury Cross to see a fine lady upon a brown horse. Rings on her fingers and bells on her toes. She shall have music wherever she goes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, look at all those fish. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? My little finger on the right. Where's your right hand? 
one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? My little finger on the right. <clears throat> Well, my last book is Blue Sea. And we'll take off some of these fish so you can see. Ooh. Oops, I took off too many. And you can see the characters in my story. Ah, some fish eat other fish. <clears throat> so the big fish, <clears throat> so the little fish have to watch it out, don't they? Yes, they do. Blue Sea um, by Robert Kalin and, the, and then the illustrations by Donald Cruz. Blue Sea. And this book has been around for a while too. Hmm. Blue Sea. Little fish. Bigger fish. Swim, little fish. Get away from him. Uh-oh. Ah, bigger fish. Oh, swim, big fish. Swim, little fish. Biggest fish. Swim, bigger fish. Swim, big fish. Swim, little fish. Uh-oh, get away, get away. Uh -huh. yeah. Small hole. <clears throat> there goes bigger fish. And there goes big fish. There goes little fish. Ouch. Goodbye, biggest fish. He got trapped, didn't he? Ah, smaller hole. There goes big fish. <clears throat> there goes little fish. Ouch! Goodbye, bigger fish. He got trapped, didn't he? Oh, that's a net. It has a small hole in it. <clears throat> Smallest hole. There goes little fish. Ouch! Goodbye, big fish. Ah, oh, little fish is safe. Blue Sea. Blue Sea by Robert Cain. <clears throat> <clears throat> Well, my gracious, I think it's time for us to remember that when fish breathe underwater, they still blow bubbles, right? So let's let's put our bubble fish on, shall we? Shh. Shh. One little two little three little bubbles, four little five little six little bubbles, seven little eight little nine little bubbles, ten little bubbles. In my bubble machine. You want to jump up and pretend you're popping them? Huh? One little, two little, three little bubbles, four little, five little, six little bubbles, seven little, six, nine little bubbles, ten little bubbles go pop, pop, pop. Good, good. <clears throat> Jump, blow, blow, blow some bubbles to the bubble hall. Jump so high until it stops. Now it's time to stop. No. Blow, 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 blow some bubbles to the bubble hop. Jump so high and still they pop. Now it's time to stop. Right, I'm getting all wet. I'm getting all wet. It feels kind of nice. <laughs> well, I think it's time to say goodbye. But before we do, I would like you to meet one of my friends. 
<clears throat> this little friend, hey, my grandchildren gave to me, and he's a pretend scallop. What did I say a scallop was? This little guy, yeah. yeah. This really happened to me. I found one in the sea. I picked it up and I looked at it. I thought, I'm gonna take it home. But guess what happened? I caught a little scallop while fishing in the sea. I said, Mr. Scallop, you are coming home with me. He looked at me with his blue eyes and said, I don't agree. And gave a mighty squirt and slipped back into the sea. And he was gone right off my hand. <laughs> that was so much, so, so, so funny. <clears throat> and here I thought that he couldn't go anywhere because he was just a shell. <laughs> <clears throat> I caught a little scallop while fishing in the sea. I said, Mr. Scallop, you are coming home with me. He looked at me with his blue eyes and said, uh-uh, I don't agree. Then gave a mighty squirt and slipped back into the sea. And that really happened. <coughs> that poem is by Granny G. Based on true experience. Well, bye-bye to my little a rocking horse, and bye-bye to Mr. Scallop, too, and bye-bye to all my fish in the sea, it's time to say goodbye, and bye-bye to the starfish and the horseshoe, <laughs> the, the, the seahorse, and bye-bye to the biggest fish, too, and bye-bye to bigger and big fish, it's time to say goodbye, and bye-bye to the littlest fish, and bye bye to Granny Jean, and bye bye to all my friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye bye. You see his eyes in there? <laughs>